What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's review we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Skipjack, the more accurately coloured right leg for Studio Series Devastator. This figure is just basically a direct repaint of the previously released Voyager Class Rampage that was also a part of the Studio Series. However, of course, if you're going for movie accuracy and you want your Devastator to be as accurate as possibly can be, you're going to want to swap Rampage out with this more accurately yellow decoed version of Skipjack. And I've got to say that this is a really nice looking repaint. If you'll recall, Rampage was my favourite out of the Constructicon Voyages and even made top spot in my Constructicon con ranking video so to find out that we were getting a re-release of rampage in the more accurately yellow color scheme i was really looking forward to this release and rampage has now actually become especially here in the uk extremely difficult to find and highly sought after and seeing as he does make one of the vital components for devastator it will be great for those who missed out on that character first time round to of course pick up this fantastic mold so to begin with we'll take a look at details you can see here that i think once again the detailing is always fantastic on this figure the tread detailing looks amazing as well as the nice crisp darker silver there for where the cog mechanism would be i really love this yellow strut that of course would be used to lift and lower up this scoop section you can see all of the nuts and bolts in there and the actual scoop itself has been detailed really nicely with all of the panel lining detailing as well as been painted in a really nice silver paint app and you can also see a black paint app behind it as well detailing where the vent section would be and this is something that they didn't have to paint as you don't really notice it that much but i'm glad that they didn't just leave it a plain yellow you can see we've got the engine block here which looks really nice. The smokestacks have now been cast in a slightly darker of a plastic. I will bring out Rampage for a comparison in just a second. But just giving you a quick look at how he looks. I think that he still looks fantastic, especially in this yellow colour scheme. I do believe Skipjack and Rampage are both bulldozer caterpillars, so that is really awesome. He rolls really nicely as well so does the previous version so no mold degradation on this figure if anything i actually think the tolerances and the joints are a lot tighter on this release which is awesome so it's definitely a super cool looking vehicle mode and then for comparison here we have both skipjack and rampage and you can see that literally they are just different colors where the red sections are on rampage they are now yellow here on skipjack the black detailing is completely in the same spot as so is the blue and the silver so they haven't changed anything in regards to that there are no paint apps that are missing on this figure which is fantastic it's literally just a yellow color rather than the red color scheme and you can see here that on rampage it was a slightly more darker shade of silver there for the front whereas here on skipjack it's definitely a lot lighter of a shade and just comparing the smokestacks you can see here that for rampage they were a lot lighter of a gray whereas here for skipjack they're a lot darker which i actually think looks a lot better and is probably a lot more authentic to a real life vehicle so definitely fantastic figures and it's great to finally get repaints. I'm just holding out hope for a payload so that we can get a yellow repaint out of the Studio Series Long Haul as it would be great to get some of these Constructicons in some different colour schemes. But definitely super cool looking repaint. And here for a Constructicon size comparison, here we have all eight of the Constructicons fully transformed up into their vehicle modes. And I think that adding Skipjack to the mix in his new yellow colour scheme definitely completes the set for me. It's great to finally have all of the eight constructor cons in their movie accurate color schemes and i really cannot wait to show you how all of these look once combined up into the awesome studio series devastator so definitely an amazing set of figures here for a closer size comparison here we have skipjack compared next to the longest constructor con studio series leader class overload and you can see here that i definitely don't think that these two are in scale in terms of their vehicle modes but in terms of construction vehicles i think that the overall cohesiveness to their look looks really awesome Here's a comparison between Skipjack and Scavenger. And once again, I don't think that they're to scale, but just to show you how these two look together. Here we have Skipjack and Mixmaster. Here's both Skipjack and Scrapper, two of my favourite Voyagers out of the Constructicon lineup. And you can see that these two are very close in terms of their scale. But once again, I'm not entirely sure of the overall accuracy to a real life representation. I do think that this should definitely be a lot bigger than the bulldozer caterpillar that Skipjack does obtain within the movie. But perhaps I'm wrong. I'm not a construction vehicle expert. And then just finishing off the comparisons, I'll quickly compare Skipjack to Long Haul. Just so you can see how these two look together and how they scale with one another. And then we'll take a look at Skipjack and Hightower. And then finally, Skipjack and the smallest of the Constructicons, Scrap Metal. Now turning to Skipjack's transformation, of course, is exactly the same as Rampage. So just collapse this section down, come to the underside and just attach these treads on both sides in order to remove the display base. 
and then just lift this section out and set this off to the side for now. What we'll do is come to this side and just take this section and unhook that and then fold this piece back and then come to this side and of course repeat the same process, just unhook that and fold this section back and now we can just separate the arms and bring those out, take this piece here and collapse this in and of course do the same for the opposite side, fold this section out and then just ratchet this to your own desire. We can utilize both this hinge joint and this hinge joint to really get him into whatever display you wish. You can have him more hunched over or slightly more extended. And now what we'll do for the arms is just rotate these out, pull open the hands, come to this section, lift this piece up, fold this over, lift the treads up so that it looks as if though they are levitating. And then just repeat the same process, of course. So just swing these all around, open up the palms of the hands, then fold all this up, come to this finger here at the back. And then we'll take these guns, unhook those, and put those into these tabs in the hands. Just snap that into place. And repeat the same process here for this side. So just open the hands, snap that into place. Take our display base, port it into the rear end of Skipjack. And here we have Studio Series Skipjack fully transformed up into his awesome looking robot mode. And so now taking a look at Skipjack here in his robot mode, I'm sure you'll all agree with me in saying that this is an awesome looking redeco. The yellow color scheme definitely sets this figure apart from the previously released Studio Series Rampage, but still giving you that awesome detailing that we got with that initial release. Taking a look at the head sculpt first, you can see some amazing silver and darker highlights there for the face. I do like the red piercing eyes and the amazing detailing here to the actual spinal section of where his neck would be is awesome. In the movie when Bumblebee is indeed fighting Rampage, we do get quite a good look at this and this is actually really accurate and seeing a Skipjack is exactly the same character model just in a new deco you can see here. I think they've replicated that really nicely. I do like how they've painted the hydraulics and the piston detailing here silver and even the section underneath is also picked out in a nice silver paint which is an area that they didn't necessarily have to paint and in there you can see some nice sculpting and detailings. We still have got some nice decals such as the warning keep clear stickers on both sides which I do believe are in fact printed on so that's awesome to see. And the detailing in the arms is too mesmerising with all of the mechanical components and I do love how the fingers look incredibly menacing. For how simple they are, using the smokestacks as Skipjack's pistols is very accurate to what we see with the CGI model of Rampage so that's quite nice as well. It would have been nice if perhaps they could have painted this wiring detailing here red, but I guess it would have looked rather unsightly when we get him transformed up into the construction mode. And now turning down to Skipjack's pogo leg, you can see here really nice hydraulic detailing of where the spring would be used in order to help him bounce along the ground. And some nice silver paint deco there, and I do like how they've painted the nuts and bolts in silver as well. Just overall, a really nicely sculpted figure. If you Once again, if you have Rampage, you know what to expect with this figure. There are no paint apps missing on this whatsoever, usually with repaints. They tend to miss out certain areas, but nope, here, everything that was painted on Rampage is still painted here with Skipjack. It's just the color plastic is now yellow as opposed to the red. And you can see, when comparing the two of them, Skipjack honestly does look awesome. I do think that these two look fantastic together. I guess you could create some backstory to these two and say that they're brothers, that if one is injured in battle, the other one will take the other's place. So I think that that's definitely a really cool concept. And I just think that this is just such an awesome mold. And I'm so glad that the color variation on Skipjack did come out as well as it did. As they do look fantastic when paired next to one another. Setting Rampage off to the side now and quickly going over Skipjack's articulation. We have a ball joint here for the head so it can rotate left to right as well as look up and down. We also get a hinge joint here allowing you to amplify that movement for, that we get with the ball joint. So definitely a great range of motion here. The neck joint is able to be hinged forwards and backwards, which is super cool. We do get rotation here at the arm as well as a butterfly joint due to transformation. And something which I've noticed with this figure is that the pin joints seem a lot more stiffer on this release than they did on Rampage. On my Rampage figure, the arm joints, they're not completely floppy, but they're definitely not the tightest of joints. Here with Skipjack, they definitely feel a lot tighter than they did on Rampage, which is nice to see. Full 360 degree rotation, I guess where Skipjack's bicep would be. Still unfortunately no elbow articulation which is a shame but I can see as to why it doesn't have it due to all of the components. The treads are hinged at three points so you can hinge it here, here and then here and of course you can have them collapse down to make it look as if though gravity is of course weighing them down. However I really do like this type of look with them almost acting like tendrils rising above skipjack and you can see here that we get all of the fingers that are articulated so hinge joint here, 
a hinge joint here at the end of the finger. The same goes here for the opposite side. And this section here can also hinge. And you can also open and close the fist as well. However, that's mainly due to transformation. We do get a rotation joint here, which is on a ratchet joint. So we can ratchet that forwards and backwards. A hinge joint here, allowing you to hinge that forwards and backwards. And then a ratchet joint here, allowing you to collapse him in more or extend him more. And if you fully extend him, this does act almost as if though it is a waist rotation joint. So that's really nice to see. And then we also do get a hinge joint here. However, that's once again, only really used for transformation. So definitely super cool. The display bases here are exactly the same. They're just done in that same dark plastic. So really no changes there, but really awesome looking robot mode here for Skipjack. For another Constructicon size comparison, here we have Skipjack compared next to the other yellow Voyager class in the line, that being Voyager class Scrapper. And you can see here that they are great together. I think they scale really nicely with one another in robot mode and definitely look like a very vibrant pair of Decepticons, but still very menacing in terms of their sculpt. Super awesome looking Decepticons here. Now, of course, transforming Skipjack into his combined form, that being the leg of Devastator, is actually quite straightforward. So we'll just set the display base off to the side collapse this section of the leg here, and then flip him over to the underside. Now what we'll do is remove the pistols and just store those back in their original positions. So repeat the same process here for this side. And then what we'll do is fold this section back and out and just bring these in close together so that we can see what we're working with. Now what we'll do is take this, untab that and fold this down. It just allows for some clearance when alternating all of this. And then we just want to rotate this section around. And as we do that, take this section and bring it forward. So rotate this all the way around and snap that into place. And then just bring this section around. We can then take this finger and it will tab into this section as well as this yellow tab will plug into this section. So just align that up and snap that into place. Repeat the exact same process here for the opposite side. So take this and just rotate this around, fold this out of the way and then rotate, rotate all of that around until it snaps in. And now you'll hook these two pieces together. So just align them both up. You're probably going to want to orientate all of this in the proper configuration in order to get it seamlessly locking into one another. And then we can just hook that over the top. Now what we can do is bring this section down, snap that into place, and then come to this side, bring that down, Snap that into place, give these a nice firm push as these tabs here do actually help in solidifying all of this. And then we can ensure that we collapse these in, snap those into place so that the wheels are completely tabbed in. I'll just quickly show you, you can see that there are two slots. There's one right at the front and then one at the back. For combined mode, you're going to want to utilize the one all the way at the back and just ensure that that's nice and tabbed in. And then just collapse the treads, peg those into place, take the fingers and just lift these up and over the top and then take this one and snap all that into place take the ratchet joint compress that down fold this section out and here we have skipjack fully transformed up into his leg mode so very quickly comparing skipjack and rampage in their leg mode before we get onto the combined mode you can see here that once again as i've stated throughout the review they are exactly the same only this time skipjack is yellow and rampage is red all of the same detail, all of the same paint apps are still correct and present, which is awesome to see. And in terms of personal preference, I do actually prefer the yellow leg on Devastator. It definitely helps to separate the red as, of course, the main body is made out of two red Decepticons. So it's great to get some color variation in here. So I'll definitely be keeping Skipjack as my leg for Devastator and Rampage will probably just be transformed into robot mode as they were both seen in the movie. So now bringing Devastator into the equation, turning him around, you can see once again the same slot that I showcased in my Devastator review that this tab here will slide into. So just take this, slide this all the way up, and there you have Skipjack used as Devastator's more movie accurately colored leg. And then just to very quickly wrap up the review, I'll quickly give you a look down at how Skipjack's new leg looks when applied to Devastator. You can see in what I was talking about earlier on in the sense that I just think that the yellow separation from the red looks awesome. Definitely helps to break up the sculpt as of course before we had a huge red lump for a leg and it just sort of blended in with the rest of the torso which wasn't accurate and I didn't think it looked too great. So to get the yellow leg and of course the yellow arms, I just think that it adds some variation to Devastator and of course it's more accurate to the movie so you're definitely going to want to pick Skipjack up if you want your most accurate representation of Devastator. 
So that was both my review and comparison of the brand new Transformers Studio Series Skipjack. I really do hope that you enjoyed my review and that I showcased Skipjack off in as much detail as I possibly could do. In this review I showcased the transformation which I have already previously showcased in my original Studio Series Rampage review. However, I've never showcased it from alt form into robot mode, so for this time I thought that I would show that. I actually really do like this repaint. As stated, Rampage was my favourite Constructicon to come out of the Devastator Ensemble, so when it was announced that we were getting a repaint of Rampage, I of course jumped with joy as not only is it an awesome mold but it is the more accurate deco that we see Devastator have in the movie. I definitely think that it breaks up the colour variation when in combined mode and just as a standalone figure I think that it's a really awesome look and the yellow colour scheme really does complement the mold rather nicely. Of course Rampage is a really difficult figure to find now at least here in the UK so if you are looking to get this figure it's great as now not only can you complete Devastator but you can also manage to finally get your hands on a really awesome mold. So I definitely highly recommend this and I'm sure glad to add this to the collection. I really do hope that you enjoyed my review. If you did, please do let me know down in the comment section below and be sure to let me know also what you think of this figure and whether or not you'll be picking this up, even if you already own Rampage. I thank you for watching this review and until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.